hello guys welcome to my channel in this video i will show you how to resolve this issue diagnosing your pc when i boot up my system my system is saying diagnosing your pc and it is not going to boot okay if you are getting this issue this video is for you okay so let's wait and let it diagnose itself then i will show you next step to resolve this issue now here is the error you can see the startup repair could not repair our pc okay this is the error i am getting if you are getting the same error this video is for you i will show you step by step how you can resolve this issue easily this is not a big problem sometime something went wrong with your windows sometime corruption inside your windows drive hard drive and sometime you have sudden changed the hardware so that's why you are getting the error in order to repair your windows click on startup options okay advanced options click on advanced options then click on troubleshoot options then click on this option advanced options now you will see six options here first is restore point if you have made any restore point on your windows your system is going to back in the previous state so this will be the good option for users who have made it or sometime windows automatically makes it so click on system restore and let's wait now you can see i have not made any system restore so i'm getting this red error if you are getting the system restore click on next and your system will be a previous date no loss and no effect to your data your data will be saved by choosing this option for the time being i am cancelling this process since i have not made any system restore click on advanced options click on advanced options now we will take the help of command prompt okay or if you have done any major update so you can go to previous version of windows okay so for the timing i am choosing this option to repair our windows with command prompt okay here is the command prompt type the first command sfc space slash scan now sfc stands for system file checker which will scan all the corruption and inside your windows and repair those so wait until it will go to 100% so we have to wait okay now you can see the command is completed now so we need to fix the boot okay uh, this is related to boot issue so we need to hit some commands to fix our boot issue so the first command you need to type boot rec okay let me type here boot okay rec space forward slash this slash and fix mbr fix mbr and hit enter now you should see the operation completed successfully message okay if all goes well you should see the operation completed successfully message after that you need to hit another command okay the another command is boot rec space okay then slash fix boot okay this time fix boot fix boot and hit enter now you should see the operation completed successfully now what this command will do this command will attempt to write a new boot sector on your hard drive if windows detect damage okay usually this happens when any older version was installed okay so this will repair it if you see any messages after that like boot rack is missing or boot manager is missing you can hit this command okay in my case it is running properly but uh, i will show you boot okay rec then you need to press 
uh, space button then this one and rebuilt bcd okay like this and hit enter scanning all disks for windows installation you can see the successfully scan windows installation okay now after hitting this command now you need to exit out from the command okay exit out and click on continue with windows 10 or 11 the steps are same if still not working you need to again click on troubleshoot advanced options okay again we need to click on this option command prompt and this time we will repair our hard disk where the window windows is installed so you need to tap chk psk space slash f space then c and colon okay like show and hit enter now this command will go to five stages so wait for a process to complete and let it repair okay and wait and after that exit out from the command and click on continue with windows 10 so let me show you my issue is solved or not i am clicking on continue with windows 10 or you can turn off your pc and then turn it on Now you can see the message welcoming message it means that my issue is solved hope your issue is also solved okay so you can see my issue is fixed now if your issue is still not fixed you need to click on start menu okay then click on this option setting we will try a couple of more steps again or you can press and shift button and click on restart update and security click on that click on recovery click on advanced startup and then click on restart option it will prompt you to login into advanced screen Now again click on troubleshoot, again click on advanced options, ok. Now we have track command from system restore and you can also choose this option startup setting, ok. And you can also choose this option startup repair but this might take more and it resolve the issue 20 to 30 percent. So you can try this step as well okay this will automatically repair your windows so let me click on this option startup repair now please wait and after that you will see the message diagnosing your pc okay put the password admin password i have not enabled any password i'm clicking on continue you can also choose same option okay diagnosing your pc and this time it will directly boot into the welcome screen so let's wait since my window has been repaired with the previous commands now you can see it is booting now you can see welcome screen now okay so this is how you can troubleshoot this issue if your issue is still not resolved you can watch my video in a playlist okay there are different methods to fix this issue as well so hope that your issue is fixed now if yes then hit like subscribe and share thank you thanks for watching